Welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how I just installed this AUX mini split. It does both heating and cooling and it's a 12,000 BTU. It uses 115 volt. I will leave link in the description if you're interested in buying this item. I will also leave link for all the tools that I use in order to install this mini split. As you can see, it's on turbo right now, it's on max and it's really quiet. You can have a conversation outside here with not really knowing that it's on. As you can see, here's how I did some of the wiring. Before I do that, let me show you some of the description on the outside unit. You can feel free to read too. There are many other videos on YouTube that show you how to do how to do vacuum compress and just go to those videos because I'm not going to go to show you how I did it since I already did that. So these are the two lines that go inside of the house. I'm going to finish the installation by wrapping it up to keep it sealed from the weather. And one issue I had with this box right here, the manufacturer is GE, I'm not sure why it wasn't working for me. When I connect the wire up here, my hot wire up here, it wasn't, the current wasn't going through. I had an electric tester. For some reason it wasn't going through, so I just decided to connect it together for now until I have a permanent solution. I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. So this is the power coming from inside of the house and you just connect everything together and go down and up to the unit. As you can see the unit, this line is going to the indoor unit and you have hot, which is red, black which is neutral s for signal and brown and you do the same thing on the inside you need to just connect them the same way they have the same color and they also have the little label that tell you exactly where they go and for the power port for the power current the unit does come with this cable but i just decided to use a house construction wire instead and put it inside of this flexible tube and I just ground the ground wire to the middle chassis. You can also put it on the ground there, but I decide it's gonna be better over there. And they had also go on the hot line. There's another screw underneath, as you can see, and the neutral one go to the neutral side. That's it. So now I'm gonna show you how the line go inside of the house. So this is the breaker that I use for the mini split. It's a 20 amp breaker really simple you just go to the home store and make sure if you're not sure which type of breaker to use swap one out make sure you turn your main power offset so you don't get electrocuted and just go to the store and compare the two pieces if you're not sure and get the same one uh, I'm not electrician if you're not sure about how to do this I would recommend that you get one but if you have the confidence to do it it's not that hard to do my black my electric wire my hat and my neutron ground they all go down here and they go underneath the house and it follow all the way to the corner and this part i have to attach it up there and go straight outside and also my refrigerant line they both come in i still have to wrap those on the inside and also my single line signal line they all go up here eventually they go straight up the wall and this is my condensation line for right now i just have a bucket that's collecting the water but eventually it's gonna join oh it's already joining eventually it's gonna join where the washer machine is 